It's hard to believe that on the 27th of February 2016, Armstrong Powerhouse released the Wary Lines. Whilst AP are well known for creating enhancement packs and items of rolling stock, the Wary Lines marked AP's first foray into root building. The route is priced at $24.99 and is available to purchase not only through AP, but also on Steam as well. The route is set in the county of Norfolk. The tracks emanate from the city of Norwich towards Brundle, where the line splits, with trains heading alternately to Great Yarmouth via Acol and Lowestoft via Edom. The branch to Yarmouth via Burney Arms is also included. In total, 44.1 miles of track are covered. Opening in 1844, the Norwich to Great Yarmouth Railway via Reedham was the first railway to be seen in Norfolk. Three years later, the branch from Reedham to Lowestoft followed, and it wasn't until 1883 that the final piece of the jigsaw fell into place, with the construction of the alternative route via Acol to Great Yarmouth. The name of the network originates from the Norfolk Quarries. These once played an important role in transporting goods and people around the broads, before the roads and railways became widespread. The scenery on this route is highly detailed. Many key points of interest have their own custom-built assets, from the Grand Station building at Norwich to the lonely and isolated halt of Burney Arms. The buildings and structures are equally impressive in their own right, and have been crafted to a good standard. The same build quality can also be true of a track. This route boasts a mixture of jointed and fully welded rails, based off a sectional appendix from the period that the route is supposed to represent. The trackside vegetation is also quite rich. Other scenic delights include the swing bridges at Reedham and Summer Layton. Whilst the swing bridges are not animated due to the limitations within the simulator, the track joints have their own custom sound effects, which adds to the sense of movement. The entire route is filled with character, and the lush scenery certainly helps with the immersion. One of the major features of this route is the implementation of absolute block signalling. Absolute block divides the line into sections, and within those sections there can only ever be one train present. A section is defined as the stretch of railway between two signal boxes. Most of the signals used within the absolute block area are of the traditional semaphores. The distinctive sound of the signal arms raising and dropping goes hand in hand with some wonderful animations. By default in Train Simulator, the signals revert to a danger aspect almost immediately after the train has passed. On this route, however, there is a slight delay as per reality. The route also features modern day colour light signals, which are particularly abundant in the Norwich area. Incidentally, the route is also equipped with the automatic warning system, which helps to prevent signals being passed at danger. As already mentioned, there are two versions of this route, one that you can buy from Steam and the other from Armstrong Powerhouse's website. Effectively, both routes are the same, however it's the scenarios and rolling stock that differ slightly. Both routes are supplied with a reworked Class 37 diesel locomotive and some nicely detailed Mark II F coaching stock. Four numbered variants of the 37s are included, and these are 37405, 37419, 37422 and 37425. Externally, the visuals have been upgraded, the textures are high in quality and sport the livery of direct rail services. 419 and 425 also come with nameplates that have been modelled in full 3D. Internally, the camp has been retextured, along with the additional GSMR, TPWS and DRA fittings. Note that this was made well before a GSMR script became available.
However, the driver reminder appliance does actively function. The reverser also features an additional fourth step, that being the off position. Further features include working wipers, a two-tone horn and instrument lighting. Although Armstrong Powerhouse do have sound packs that are readily available for the Class 37, this particular model has had sounds recorded from 37674 at the Wensleydale Railway in North Yorkshire. The sounds themselves are very good and have been translated very well into the simulator. It's just a bit of a shame that you cannot open the window to listen to the external sounds from the cab, but that is down to a limitation with the model itself. The physics have been optimised and the train features wheel slip protection, which automatically tries to reduce the train's wheels from slipping in damp conditions. Incidentally, the route comes with signs that tells drivers the start and end of an area where poor adhesion occurs. Due to limitations in train simulator, the poor adhesion is not location specific, so expect wheel slip to occur at random intervals throughout the route. Last but by no means least, there is also a dynamic exhaust feature. When you first load the 37, the loco may be as clean as a whistle. Load it up in the second instance however, and the train may be smoking like no tomorrow. Features like this add character to the train. Overall, AP have done a nice job in touching up the 37, and it's a pleasure to drive. Note that should you buy the version of the route that comes directly from AP's website, you will have to have the Settle and Carlisle route installed as the locomotive is derived from that model that comes with that particular route. Scenarios in the AP version are all based off Class 37 passenger workings during the summer of 2015 and there's 25 in total. The SEAM version has 20, however this version not only boasts workshop compatibility but is split between the Class 37 and a version of the Class 170 Turbostar that is supplied with Anglian themed liveries. Despite the fact that some prerequisites are required, I find that the AI used in scenarios for the AP version to be more realistic and aesthetically pleasing. It's also worth noting that at the time of writing, AP have three additional scenario packs for the route. Whether you buy the wary lines from Steam or directly from AP, all of these packs are cross-compatible with both versions, so you don't miss out. Other recommended items of stock include the Class 153 from Just Trains, the Class 156 from Steam, and the Class 150 Stroke 2 from Armstrong Powerhouse. For scenarios pre-sprinterisation, the BR Blue Class 101 DMU from Steam is also very much recommended alongside AP Sound Pack. I won't lie. I couldn't help but feel slightly disappointed by the lack of a bitten line to Chroma and Sheringham. AP's reasoning for not including this was so that they could focus more on the quality of the route. After a year or so in development, I cannot honestly say that they have made the right choice. In Train Simulator, developers have to walk a very fine line between quality and quantity. A classic example in my opinion would be the Western Main Lines a massive route with plenty of driving hours to rack up, however the scenery can be less detailed and the game can struggle to run the route due to its large size. By complete contrast, the scenery on the wary lines is far more detailed and the route is of the length that the game can cope with. AP have said that this is their only route, but who knows, maybe they could produce the Bitten Line as an entirely separate route along with the possibility of including the North Norfolk Railway as a bonus since the two routes are now physically connected. Overall, I love the Wary Lines. If you like running local branch line passenger trains, whether it be in a multiple unit or locomotive, this is certainly the one for your collection, and there are countless scenarios to keep you busy for a very long time. It is a superb route and highly recommended. Thanks for watching this review. 
please feel free to rate and comment down below. If you would like to keep up to date on the videos that I post, why not subscribe and ring YouTube's notification bell so you don't miss an update. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching and take care.